president is the president today in large part because of his pledge to bring troops home from Iraq. And today he said he is on track to bring all combat forces home by the end of this month. By August 31st, 2010, our combat mission in Iraq will end. That was President Obama shortly after being sworn in last year. Today, he told an audience of disabled American veterans he's keeping his promise. Our commitment in Iraq is changing from a military effort led by our troops to a civilian effort led by our diplomats. When he came into office, there were 144,000 U.S. troops in Iraq. Today, there are 81,000. And by the end of this month, there will be 50,000. Officially, they'll be designated as non-combat forces. But that may be misleading because the troops will still be in harm's way and will continue to support Iraqi combat forces. They also can engage in targeted counterterrorism operations. And while the U.S. troop reduction is on schedule, Iraq's transition to a stable nation is not. The president today said violence is near the lowest level in years, but the Iraq government disagrees. They say July was the most violent month in more than two years. And the political infighting is so intense that five months after national elections, they still don't have a functioning government. It's certainly not the stability that we had envisioned in, in, uh, when President Obama rolled out his strategy for Iraq. Despite all those difficulties, the White House says it is still their goal to get all troops out of Iraq by the end of next year. Katie. Okay, Chip Reed. Chip, thanks very much.